Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a BoxyCharm base box. My premium box is on its way, it should be here this week, but I figured we could go ahead and open up the base box for February and see what we got. Um, so I've already opened it up, and for those of you that don't know, um, BoxyCharm is $25 a month, it's a beauty subscription, and you get about five full-size items. So when you open it up, it looks like this, and then you have the card here. This month, um, the theme is Adore, BoxyCharm Adore, so it's really pretty, nice for Valentine's. And I have variation number 47, crazy. And then on the box, on the back of the of the little card here, it does talk about Boxy Pop-Up. Um, and so that's whenever they kind of open up their shop and you can get some really amazing deals and steals. And of course it does have everything inside listed. And then it's also gonna talk about Boxy Lux that's coming in March. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this, the, the brushes. These are beautiful, I'm so excited that I got these. I was really hoping I was gonna get these. So these are the Alamar Cosmetics brushes. So, okay, Complexion Brush Trio, vegan friendly, cruelty free, three piece brush set. Comes with everything that you need for a complexion. So you get a blush, bronzer brush, and a brightening brush. And this is valued at $36. So let's open this up. And they have a really beautiful, like, kind of like a coppery rose gold handle. And they taper down. And then this one's very dense, almost like a flat. And if you can see, it kind of has like the little, I don't know, I'll call it like a cat paw, where it has like the little bumps there. Um, no shedding, um, seems pretty nice. So this would be great for foundation. I love brushes like this for foundation. Um, the next one is this angled brush right here. Again, pretty soft, not as densely packed as I would probably like it to be. Um, it's kind of flimsy. But I will definitely use this for blush, bronzer, um, that kind of thing. So I love that one. And then this last one is the brightening brush. So it kind of comes to a point. It's soft. It's tapered. Um, this you could probably use for setting under the eyes, brushing off powder, or even for highlighter. So you could probably use this for a few different things. So love that i love getting brushes i will never be upset for getting brushes okay I'll take a sip of my sugar-free red bull the next thing is my choice item this is from kate somerville this is the active concentrates biomimicking peptide smooth and firm and like I said, this was my choice item. So it says, Kate especially formulated this highly active concentrate to transform dull, sagging skin into visibly firmer, smoother, refreshed looking skin. After just one week, 97% of women reported their skin appeared visibly tighter. And this is valued at $98. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's a little dropper. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I'm going through a few more serums. I have my uh, Lancome Genifique, which is like my holy grail uh, serum that I'm still going through. But um, I'm really excited to try this. So far, I've really enjoyed everything from Kate Somerville. And I know that there's been some weirdness going on with as far as boxy charms, ingredients, and products, and things like that. But this does say, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, you can't see it. But it does say, made in the USA. Beverly Hills, California. So at least we know this is actually legit. Um, the next thing I'm seeing here is from uh, Pretty Vulgar, and this is the Faux Reels Mascara. I love mascaras. Honestly, I'm excited to get this. I'm a mascara junkie. That packaging is so pretty. Look at it. It has like little birds, and Pretty Vulgar is known for their packaging. Okay, and then... <clears throat> so this is the Faux Reels Extreme Volume Mascara, lengthening, must, you know, uh, false lash effect and black from root to tip. Um, retails for 23 And I am going to open this because I probably will be using this. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that wand. It has a slight hourglass, but it kind of tapers up just a little bit more. Um, the formula seems nice and creamy. It's not too dry. I cannot wait to give this a shot. I do love my Lancome Monsoor Big. It's hard to beat that, um, especially for longevity. Um, I don't get any flaking or smudging with that. So that's awesome. 
the next thing I'm seeing is this guy right here. And this is from the brand Queen, I believe. It's like a black matte packaging with the embossed logo there that looks really pretty. So this is the matte liquid lip satin. Um, if you're a full coverage enthusiast, this matte liquid lip satin is your superhero. Extremely pigmented formula gives you true matte finish in one coat with 12 hour performance. And this is valued at $17. And I have the shade Wifey. So let's see. It's pretty. It's kind of like a, I don't think it's showing up on camera the way it, it looks in real life. Um, it's kind of like a mauve -y, cool tone kind of shade. I probably would wear it. I don't know. I have so many liquid lipsticks kind of in the same family in this kind of color that I'm afraid to try it or swatch it. I don't know. It's really pretty. It's, I don't know, you guys let me know if y'all have tried this brand before. I'm kind of picky when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Um, but, so, that's that's cool. And then, last but not least, I have a setting powder from Ciate London. This is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Okay, so this says, lock in your makeup for long-lasting wear with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Delicately coconut fragrance to, lock, uh, to take you back to your beach vacay every day. Finally milled, lightweight, uh, no flashback, which is awesome. And then this is valued at $22. <clears throat> I've said this in other videos. I'll say it again. I don't really get along the best with um, coconut products like coconut scented or just items that have coconut in it. So I'll have to take a look at the ingredients and see if there's actual real coconut in it. I'm not sure if it smells like it. It might. Um, but there's the packaging. And of course, Seattle London always has beautiful packaging. Um, so yeah, it's just like a, a, loose, a loose powder. And then that's what it looks like there. So it just has like the big open well. It doesn't have like a, a sifter lid or anything like that. So I guess you would just kind of pour it into the cap. Um, I am going through, I have a full Becca Hydra Mist powder that I'm going through as well as a Cover FX setting powder that I'm going through. So I'm going through a few setting powders and I have dry skin. So it's not like I really use a ton of powder. I might just use a little bit here, maybe a little bit just in the t-zone area but other than that i don't really tend to grab um, a ton of loose setting powders but i'll probably get some use out of this so yeah so that is it so let's recap our february base box um okay so we got the alamar cosmetics brush trio i'm so stoked to get this i'm so excited i think the other thing you could have gotten were like the sponges but um i i'm glad that i got these i wanted these um and then we got the lipstick uh, the liquid lipstick from Queen. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. <clears throat> the Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Mascara, which I'm super excited to try. Like I said, I love mascara, and it looks like a good one as far as the formula and the brush. Um, my choice item, which was the Kate Somerville Active uh, Concentrates Peptides. Super, super stoked. And then finally, the Ciate London uh, Everyday Vacay Setting Powder the coconut setting powder. So all in all, I think this was an excellent month. Like honestly, I totally feel like this was a better month in January. January was kind of like lame in my opinion. I just was not excited about, I don't know. I didn't think it was really that awesome. So this month was great. All right, so that is it. Um, like I said, I will have my premium box pretty soon, probably this week, before the end of the week, I will definitely have it up. Let me know what variation you got. Are we box twins? Did you like this box? Are you feeling it? Um, I, I actually really love it. And let me know also if you're excited for boxy pop-up. Fingers crossed everything goes without as much turbulence as last time. But that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me some comments down below. Let's talk. Have a good day. Bye.